the movement we've been waiting for is finally here. The 2022 FIFA World Cup has commenced and it commenced on a good note with Ecuador beating Qatar, the host country, in a 2-0 game. And unfortunately, it's the first time that a host country is losing its match opener at any FIFA World Cup tournament. We'll be looking at the record set in this particular opener of the 2022 FIFA World Cup as Mohamed Montari, a player of Ghanaian descent, made his debut in the FIFA World Cup for Qatar as he came on as a substitute. We'll be looking at how this player, Montari, switched from being a Ghanaian to playing for the Qatar national team. Also, the player who is currently on the list of every other person is Enna Valencia. We'll be looking at his performance in the game and what he was able to contribute to the game so that he is trending. My name is Joseph Adam of you and you're welcome to Sports Updates Ghana. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like share and don't forget to leave a comment let's get straight into it so the first match of the 2022 fifa world cup started today and whoa what a moment it was in the opening ceremony and qatar well kudos for putting out a good work for the opening ceremony but in the main match when it matters most qatar lost the match to ecuador by two goals to zero with enna valencia scoring two of the goals in the game well how did it all turn out well uh ecuador scored the first goal in the match but unfortunately it was rude as offside as enna valencia the captain of ecuador scored the opener but var checks uh, prompted the referee to overrule the goal well later on in the game and valencia was able to get a one-on-one -on -one chance with the goalkeeper of uh, qatar that is side out uh, sheep and unfortunately the goalkeeper of Qatar caught the legs of the Ecuador captain that is Valencia and the referee had to award a penalty then Valencia scored the first goal in the game later on another cross was whipped in and Valencia headed it in to get two goals in the game for Ecuador in the first half so the first half ended 2-0 90 minutes ended 2-0 still for Ecuador and that is how the 92 year span of the World Cup being played with host countries winning or either drawing their first matches at the tournament ended with Qatar being unable to become the 22nd country in history to defend the uh, host countries without a win. So Qatar became the first country to lose a match in the opener of any FIFA World Cup tournaments. But one interesting bit to note is that Qatar featured a Ghanaian player, Mohamed Montari, in their match and well, he brought on some good luck as one of the chances he got in the game nearly got Qatar a consolation goal but unfortunately, Qatar has to lose the game by two goals to zero. So who is this player of Ghanaian descent I'm talking about? Mohamed Montari grew up in Ghana. He was born in Kumasi in the Ashanti region of Ghana but he uh, got a move to the Arabian country and was convinced to join the Qatar uh, football uh, national football team and that's how come he became a Qatarian and instead of playing for the Black Stars but Mohamed Montari grew up playing with Black Stars player that is Mohamed Salisu so it's a tale of two Mohameds but unfortunately one Mohamed ended up becoming a Qatar football player and the other Mohamed became a black stars player so yes that is how come Mohamed Motari is a Qatar footballer so uh, Mohamed Motari is a striker and he naturalized to play for Qatar as far back as 2014 when he was just 21 Montari made his debut in the 2022 FIFA World Cup unfortunately as Qatar lost their match to Ecuador by two goals to zero. So that is how it ended. And well, the star man of the day was Enna Valencia, the Ecuador striker and captain who scored two goals and reminds me exactly of Abu Bakr of Cameroon when the 2021 AFCON started earlier this year where he scored a number of goals. And that is how Valencia inked his name in history as he helped uh, Ecuador to win their first game in the 2022 FIFA World Cup by a two goal matching and never in the history of Ecuador have they won any match by a two-goal margin at any World Cup tournament. This is their fourth World Cup his history and Valencia was able to head, help his side to win the game by two goals to zero and well it was a good game by all standards except that well uh, Qatar with their coach were 
expected to do more especially after camping for six months and the output they bring out is a loss to ecuador and i must say their group is very very tough and easy like looking at it from a different angle you play ecuador and i think that ecuador was the weakest link that uh Qatar should have settled a draw with but unfortunately they lost their next match is going to be a match against netherlands it's going to be a tough one and also their final match in the group stages will be against senegal which will be a very very tough one and i hope that senegal will beat them but the next match in the 2022 fifa world cup is senegal coming up against the netherlands we see how that one goes up because sadio mani has been ruled out of the 2022 fifa world cup but netherlands have three ghanian uh, three players of ghanian descent in their squad and well we'll see how that one goes tomorrow there are about three to four matches which will be played tomorrow in the 2022 fifa world cup and i'll be bringing you up to speed on all that you have to know about that my name is joseph adam and this has been another edition of sports updates ghana thanks for watching